guys, what is up? It's Anthony here, back at you with another video. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to do a baller magic trick. Like, it's, it's lit fam. Yeah, okay, I suck at stuff, so... Basically, what this card trick does is um, blow people's minds. So, let's get right to it. Basically, um, if you were actually here... Then it would be like, hey, say stop whenever. And then they like said stop here or something. So this is like mostly just like a playthrough of it, okay? Now I want you to pick any deck. And you pick this one. And then it's like, okay, here you go, weirdo. And then pick this one. And then I would um, shuffle it up. Okay, shuffled up, and then this one I'm just gonna do like a simple cut. Now, in this trick, when you're doing it to someone, you don't want them to look at the four cards you told them to take. They just leave that deck. You don't need that deck anymore at all for this trick. But I'm not gonna tell you what I'm doing right now because, like, well, that would be the purpose of the trick. Now, I'm going to do this because you saw one of the cards. Heh, okay. Now, you don't need these two little packs anymore, and you can just throw them away. I'm just kidding, keep them. You can use them in, for other magic tricks. Uh, so, um, also, I have realized I've been doing a ton of magic tricks recently, so I'm going to start doing more gaming stuff and stuff like that. So, yeah. And, basically, I'm going to... My little pile placed on this one. And then I'm going to do a cripple boy shuffle. That's what my friends call it. <laughs> I just realized what I might have done. Oh, I thought I messed up the. Okay. Nothing. Okay, so. And then. I'd be like, choose whichever one. And then say you would choose this one right here. And it'd be like, okay, there you go. Then I'd place this one at the bottom. And then again, it'd be like, choose whichever one which feels like yours. And then they would either pick this one or this one. Say it was this one this time. Place it there. Place this one at the bottom. When you're telling this trick to someone, they can literally choose any card. I'll show you why. And then, um, and then the next part, I didn't want to flash that. It's like, pick a card for me. And then I say, like, they pick this one. It's like, okay, whatever, whatever. And then, and then you could make up whatever and be like, I'm feeling selfish, so pick another card for me. And then they, like, pick, uh... This one, how about this one, sure. Remember in this trick, it doesn't matter which one they pick, I'll show you why. And then afterwards, then you have them pick their own card once. Be like, pick your own card, and then they say like this one, and it's like, okay, geez. And then once you do that, then you have them pick a card for you. It's like, pick a card, and then it's like, okay, woo. And then, in the final part, it's like, Choose any card, and then say if they choose this one, it's like, okay, now you're ready for this. Uh, let's look at, oh wait, okay, oh, for a second I thought I messed up the trick. Okay, so let's look at my cards, a two, a, a ten, a king, and a three, okay? All normal cards, random. But what you have selected is yours, I guess you got the feeling. You ready for this? Queen, 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 and queen. Now, let's get on to the tutorial. One second. Hey guys, I'm back, and today I'm going to show you the tutorial for this magic trick. Ha! <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, so basically, how it works, in the beginning, you're going to want to have it set up as... Oh. Random three. 
Okay, you're going to want on like the top four of a kind, I use the jacks. And then on the bottom, you're also going to want a four of a kind, I use the queens. Okay, so once you do that, then you're ready to go over to them and be like, Hey, you want to see a magic trick? They're going to be like, heck yeah. And, it's, and you're going to be the cool guy. You know that guy? Yeah, you're going to be him. Just kidding, you're probably going to be some weirdo, but whatever, let's do this. And basically what happens, you tell them to say stop whenever. And there's a random card flipped over in the middle of the deck. One second. There's random cards flipped over in the middle of this deck. What is happening? It's so weird. What the heck? Ah, the card devil is upon us. Okay, so basically, when they say, when they cut a deck anywhere, you gotta know which one is one. Which one is one. So, like, this one has the bottom on it, and this one has the top on it. Whichever one they choose, they legitimately select random four cards. That means you're not going to be using the queens. Okay? But on this one, you gotta do like false shuffles and all that. I like the flippity dippity. Take like a fourth of the deck, and then you take another like fourth of it. Then you place this on top of that part. Then you place this part underneath that part. You don't get that, but I think I have a tutorial. Okay, so basically, after you do that, then you could select the four bottom cards. I mean, top cards. I just realized this is the top part. But um, if you just don't really care for that, then you can make it seem normal by holding a pinky break while cutting it. And then, like, when spreading it out and stuff like that, then it kind of looks normal, okay? And then once you have it here, you can give like two to this hand and then two, keep two on this hand so that you can be like this one, this one, this one, and this one. And see, it's all of the jacks because this was the top half of the deck. Oh, okay. And then you've got all their cards, which are legitimately random, but you'll be forcing them on yourself. Uh, so at this point in the trick, I want to make sure that you remember to take your part and place it on top. The top. Otherwise, the trick will fail. Okay? You don't want it to fail. Now, you might have noticed that um, I was kind of suspicious of a part of it because I've only practiced like one time. So, I just want to tell you while you're doing it, if you're wondering what card you're giving to them, then just look at them, okay? Like, hold them like this and be like, choose the card. And basically how it works is the first two cards are going to be your cards, okay? And then they'll be like this one, and then you'll give it to them because, yeah, because you want to make it seem like they chose it, not me or something weird like that, I don't know. And then you take another two, which are also yours, so no matter what, it's another jack. And then it's like, oh, which is this one? And then you give it to them, and then you place it underneath. And then you can say whatever story thing or anything. And then uh, you can be like, choose any card for me, because they are both random selections of cards. Okay? And they give you that, and then you place it at the bottom. Oh, I... <laughs> I forgot, you need a, the other card that was left over from their choosing. You put it at the bottom of this little tiny pack. Then you take the next top two. And then it's like, choose one for me. And it's like, say so that one, which was a king. It doesn't really matter, though, because they're both random cards. And then the next cards, they're going to be uh, theirs again. So it's like, choose one for you. And it's like, say they choose that one. And then you do one for yourself. And it's like, choose one for me. Because they're random cards. And then, I would recommend looking at them this time at least. But, um, this part is literally their choice pretty much. Except, there's something that's like the magician's cho choice or something. I don't really know what it's called. But, how it works is when you have these out, you turn around. Make sure you know which card is which. If you're not even like looking at them like this or something. Just be like... 
and then um, say to choose one, not like to choose it for which person. Say they chose this one, which is a jack, then you would give it to them, and then keep the random selection of card. And then after all this, once you have four cards for each person, you might notice that all your cards are going to be random, but their cards are all going to be the cards that you pretty much forced on them. So then it adds like a really cool effect because they thought they chose it, but you technically chose it yourself. If you get my drift. So yeah, that's pretty much a trick. Thank you for watching. And peace. Also, like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe because uh, this channel's dying. Just kidding. I want to be my friend and everything. So, yeah. Bye-bye. I'm weird, I know.